The storybook in which we decided to recreate was The Cow That Tripped Over the Moon by Tony Wilson and Laura Wood. Wilson and Wood decided to produce a children's book in 2015, which was based on the classic children's book, The Cow Jumped Over the Moon. As mentioned in the design folio, the children's book takes on a different approach to the classic. In this recent children's book, the authors decided to illustrate the moments and hard times leading up to successfully jumping over the moon. We decided to recreate a working model which displayed one of the moments when the cow unfortunately does not make it to the moon. Instead of making it to the moon, he unfortunately hits an air balloon. As we wanted to recreate and design a model which displayed the cow jumping into the air balloon, we had to be able to move the cow from the starting position to eventually move towards the air balloon. Using a pneumatic system, we were able to recreate the jump in which the cow made it to the air balloon. One of the cylinders is pl placed behind the board, which starts with the pressurised air within. The other cylinder is situated behind the cow. As the cylinder behind the board is pushed in, the pressurised air moves from that cylinder and moves into the other cylinder. As the second cylinder receives the air, the top of the cylinder moves upwards. The part of the second cylinder which moves upwards is connected to the back of the cow. This allows for the model to display that the cow is moving towards the air balloon. Within the working systems model we also decided to integrate an electronic circuit. As shown in the back of the model here, a single AA battery powers the electronic circuit. From each side of the battery we connected wires, which would allow us to transport electricity to a small light bulb shown in the middle of the moon at the front. <coughs> At the end of each wire there are electricity conductors which are gold split pins. One of these pins is situated under the cow. Shown, shown there with our foil on it. And the other pin is situated where the cow finishes, where the air balloon is. When these two pins touch, the electricity is passed through the circuit and the light bulb lights up. When the cow fails to hit for his jump to the moon and comes into contact with the air balloon, the moon lights up. We decided to make the moon light up as throughout the story the moon is shown to be a bright figure and as, as it is the destination which the cow is aiming to reach. Our design was quite basic. As shown here, we have a base and a backdrop made out of a thin wood material. Using this material we were able to make sure that the systems integrated would be stationary whilst using them. As we used the same wood material for the backdrop, we thought the hot glue gun would, might not be strong enough to be able to hold the backdrop straight and support it enough for it not to break. At the back of the, of the model, we added four support sticks, which would hold the backdrop upright and in place. This was a great idea and it, help, it helped hold our model together. There are the four support sticks. As we used the wood material as a backdrop, we were unable to create any holes through the board. This caused us to arrange all the wires and include the parts to move around the side of the backdrop and at the top of the backdrop. As we could only pass the electronic wires over the top of the board and around the side of the board, we decided to use black wires to try and blend the colouring of the board. If we could change one thing, we would have changed this by using a small drill to create small wires for the wires to pass through and to create a nicer looking model. Here is a demonstration of our working model. The cow moved from the starting position towards the air balloon. When coming into contact with the split pins and the con electricity conductors, the light lights up. As I'm in a very bright room, you probably cannot see the light. So there's a light. 